Three, two, one. Shining. Hey, buddy, watch this. So maybe we keep one torrent dig for other options instead, right? I don't actually have a great uh, Glowfly answer in this deck. A hag of the scheme could be if we hit it soon enough. So that's one possibility. But beyond that, it, it's kind of like turn seven or bust since I don't have Lightning Storm. Why not Colossus of the Moon? We decided we didn't want to have too many non-defensive um, Muck Morphers. I think in the world of demon hunters and the encroachment and now of pirate warrior into the meta it's really risky to have your cards not defend you when you play them in this deck this is always the weakness of big decks i feel like when you play things that don't keep you alive you just get banned. we'll we'll see if that feels right after a while you know if, if it turns out like the witch's bruise or something provide enough stabilization or if there's just not that much speed in the meta or whatever big bad arc mages right now are the the lone non-guaranteed defensive card but even those have some pretty good defensive options sometimes i can get a card tot and get a safeguard or something so even they can pay off oh plague of murlocs doesn't he <laughs> i got excited thinking plague of murlocs answers glowfly swarm but it doesn't it doesn't at all it's not remotely helpful um okay we need to hit a big mark more for here I don't even know what I want. Big Bad Archmage, I guess, to get the most stats. Walking Fountain's fine, but not actually really all that good. Uh, yeah, I really wanted I really wanted Big Bad Archmage and Scrapyard Colossus, I think. I mean, this could still help me deal with Glowflies, which is cool. Thankfully, if he doesn't taunt up this Mount Cellar, we can still deal with it with the Torrent, but we also just have Hex, so we'll see what feels right. Torrent's cheap, so I think it feels better. Um, that way I can Serpent try on another minion as well. Oh, there's the hack of the scheme as well. Okay, actually, yeah, we're pulling this together rather nicely now. We got through one early push there very easily. I'll have enough mana to hex the next Mount Teller whenever that comes down. Never get off its effect. Now that I say that, I can't, I can't remember how this works. I don't guess he has memory, maybe. Even though Kael'thas does. God, why do so many people want Gruul in this list? <laughs> what is up with Gruul? Do people well, still use Iliax and Wild? Boys, I don't know. I guess I don't see it that much now that you say that. Haven't even looked at like anything Hearthstone in a month or so, but here I am now. Hey, random gamer, dude. Don't worry, man. Do your thing. It's I think it's good to take a little time off sometimes. I think too many people get caught up uh, get caught up on the grind and don't ever take breaks. It's good. Streamers, it's hard for us to do that, unfortunately, in many cases. We, um... We're kind of locked in a lot, but it's good for streamers to do it too. More should. I think a lot of streamers stream too much. Obviously, that's their prerogative. It's up to them. They do whatever they want, but I think a lot would be suited to take some breaks. Dead turn. Hack of the Scheme, though, gives us a lot of value against whatever the next big thing he builds is. If I dodge Overflow for a while, he may just kind of have some dead turns. Sarah's really good, though. Plague of Murlocs can answer those big dragon boards, as can Hag of the Scheme, but I just need to make plays. I don't have any plays to make. Earthquake. I mean, this is debatably worth hexing. If I do, though, I don't have an answer to a Mount Cellar, so I'm going to chill for now. We're just not in a hurry at all. There's just no rush. We need to get more value out of all these cards. Okay, that ties to Earthquake, which is good news. I didn't want to get a dragon that was too big right now until I get this scales up a little bit. Man, there's a lot of magic uh, drama these days, Pyro. I... Followed on Twitter a little bit just because I follow a lot of card game players, you know, and they're talking about magic stuff a lot. So much freaking drama lately. Okay, Earthquake actually got really good all of a sudden. I can't hex, but. Um, if I leave this up, I leave up basically myself at four health, is the problem. There is another option here. Like, let's see what this turns into. If it's really low damage, oh, it's not. Ah, I'm thinking about trying to pull off a witch's brew instead here. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's pretty low damage. 
It's low enough that I think this plan works, right? He only has eight damage instead of like 40 bajillion, you know? This basically gives me time to make the earthquake better, where it's like, maybe he hits another dragon and the earthquake makes sense. Soon I can play one of my big 10 drops and hopefully that's defensive enough to mean something for a while. One dilemma I have here is if he doesn't play anything, what do I do? <laughs> like, do I hex the 4-4? Four four? Do I still earthquake? Walking fountain's what I do. Okay, that's the answer. All right, perfect. Yeah, so this actually worked out really nicely to buy us quite a bit of time, right? I basically bought both of my removal spells more value by just using the Plague of Merlax as a stall, almost like a almost like a bad Frost Nova or something, right? <laughs> like I just used it to, to buy time. And I think that's gonna pay off quite a bit, actually, yeah. So he can trade here, put me back to 28. I'm sure he trades. Let's get that out of the way. Is he just gonna pass this turn? If so, Archmage is coming down 100%. 100%. Ooh. Ancestral Spirit is also insanely cool, though. Um, maybe I go Scrapyard Colossus here, because there's a good chance he can't actually kill it. There's, I think he probably kills the Archmage in many cases. I mean, I think he probably kills this in many cases, too, to be fair. But if he can't, oh my god, I go Vivid Spores, Vivid Spores, Ancestral Spirit, and forget it. The game is over. <laughs> Just forget it. Even if he does kill it, I think I might do that anyway, just because there's going to be so many 7-7s, seven sevens, right? It's not quite that many, though, I guess. I, I do really want it to be the, the top half. Imagine if I drew a Muck Morpher right now and it hit another Scrapyard Colossus. Oh, my God. I uh, haven't kept up with MTG. thought they were having a couple good expansions. There's some, like, companion thing people hate, and I think people still hate Teferi or whatever that is. I, I don't know all this stuff that well, so forgive me if I say something stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He didn't. <laughs> He didn't kill it, guys. Uh, this is just this is just game over, right? Like, I mean, I guess if he has like a silence or a hex, or I mean, like a um, well, there's no, there shouldn't be any silence or or sap style effect. This should just be game over. I mean, this is gonna summon three more scrapyard colossuses and also a seven seven when it dies. What could he possibly do? He's just got to concede. Yeah, there's no way out. Uh, I don't think we need Torrent as much against Priest, but this is a really cool, like, four into five turn sometimes. So let's hold here. Well. Okay. I think I like Archmage best, honestly, on Curve. So it's sad to lose one of those in the pool. Thanks, Afterglow, for the kind words, man. And for watching and stuff, too, of course. Very, very appreciative. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess this is like a Tempo Priest? A Mani Berserker Priest is not something I expected to see today. <laughs> I like it, though. It's cool. That's pretty fun. Um, I can clear this with Torrent right now if I want to. I do like break my coin Muck Morpher, but I also can just equip Fist of Raw Dan anyway. Maybe I coin the Fist right now, and then I set up for the Torrent next turn into the one drop. That's actually kind of cool too. Let's do that. This becomes a one mana spell next turn, which gets me um, Reliquary. I don't really have anything else to do on the turn, which kind of sucks, but Reliquary alone is nice. We still have that cheap, efficient removal. We can totem. If he plays like an Ahmet here, I can clear that as well. It's just guys wonder I, I, <laughs> i'm like so happy right now <laughs> this is the coolest thing i've ever seen uh I, what what three mana legendaries are there there's a ton right i would want like maybe like a zixor or something most off i guess chinvala again okay yeah cool so muck morpher now cannot get big bad archmage which is sad but uh scrapyard's good too i i, I wouldn't be upset about scrapyard this feels like arena. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Do I ever take nine to the dome here? Just to deal with this stuff and, and make my muck more for very safe. It depends on whether or not he heals this, I guess. If he heals it, no, I can't really do that. In that case, I kill the Amani Berserker, right? And this is still sometimes safe. I mean, depending on what this rolls into, right? If this is Alec here or Walking Fountain, it could definitely change our line. So let's just see what we get. Scrapyard, okay. Well, I like Scrapyard. 
Care more about my minion health and face health. So I'm gonna tank five there, no problem. We have witches, brews, walking fountains, all that stuff. Uh, hopefully he can't actually get through the scrapyard and we can go for the crazy vivid spores ancestral spirit right now. Now priest does potentially have silences, unfortunately. So we could look at like a mass dispel, for instance. Um, silence, <laughs> all that stuff. So we have to be a little more careful about overcommitting. Maybe I, I, I could perhaps, for instance, be better off just like totaming. Uh, oh, actually, you know what we could do? Oh, no, we can't. Torrent's not cheap enough right now. Torrent's not cheap enough. Um, not cheap enough for me to get another reliquary, which would be sweet to Vivid Spores, right? That was my thought. Uh, let's just go Hex Ancestral Spirit then instead, right? I'm going to get a four mana Legendary instead of a two mana Legendary. Which do I actually prefer? Uh, two has Murger, Astromancer, Thalnos. Not that much good stuff. Four has Kane, Altruist, Dragonbane, Ahmet, um, Kargath. I think four just has more good stuff, yeah. Has some low rolls too, but I think four is better. So we'll hex first in that case. Um, okay. Or we'll just not do anything because he conceded. Plague of Murloc, it could help me get through a buffed board of soul of the forest bros but i'm really looking for hagatha scheme and maybe a torrent for those um mount sellers earthquake is generally going to be too small and too slow it doesn't answer glow flies and it doesn't actually even answer mount sellers so earthquake's a bit of a, a pickle if this is indeed a spell druid um please have a single star on your chest plate if you're a death knight That's funny. I may have to request that. We'll see. One star death knight. <laughs> Who does that art? His name is Noah Warner. You can find him on Twitter. If you just search probably like Noah Warner artist. Twitter. I have a link somewhere, but it's going to be hard for me to track down right now, of course. But yeah, he does all my art. Various arts. Uh, yeah, totem again, man. Great deck. Just totem every turn. It's perfect. We didn't hit a hag of this, so we are very exposed right now. This can answer a uh, mount seller, but it's so much mana right now that it wouldn't really get to do much else. This could be his mount seller turn, but it feels a little early because he'd have to have a lot of zero mana spells right now to make it really pop. So I do probably want to play a spell this turn almost no matter what it is, just to get a spell out. I'm actually thinking probably Plague of Murlocs here just because we have a pretty decent board of four Murlocs that's gonna help us trade a lot. So um, I think it's okay to use this proactively right now. We've got to the stage of the game now. Ooh, baby, where we'll have enough mana to better utilize Earthquake. Um, certainly still Torrent is good too. I do still wish we had that Hag of the Scheme though, right? Uh, I feel like I forgot to say thanks for the, oh, where's Beep? Oh yes, you said something that amused me uh, about that song. Um, I'm like a bird. I only fly away. I, I don't know if I read this or heard this somewhere, but it was like so funny to me. Some, it's just like the story of some guy. It was probably on like a Reddit post or something whose, um, girlfriend left him. It was like gr long time girlfriend. And, and, and all she left him was that song. It's like, this is why I'm leaving you. And he spent like years and years trying to track down like what the song means and trying to understand it. And it's just like, it doesn't, it's just nonsense. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That's really amusing to me that he couldn't figure out the answer to the song. I only fly away. Um, Ancestral Spirit's like kind of cool on McGurger, right? It, it, Vivid Spores is intriguing as well, frankly. Um, I, I don't think you say there's something I can really commit a lot of resources into. So I'm probably just going to Hero Power and Vivid Spores for now. Keeps the spell active, which is nice for the um, Torrent in a future turn. But I, I have to wait for him to do something really meaningful. Like, I have to either get a bunch of dragons in the clear. I have to get a, a mount seller. I have to get some glow flies. I need... I need something. Now, thankfully, he didn't place glow flies before my earthquakes are now active. So I'm going to get to utilize the earthquakes, even to clear a glow fly, which is cool. Uh, also, he's going Kael'thas as opposed to mount sellers, which are a little bit easier breakpoint for earthquake to deal with if he doesn't taunt it or uses iron bark on Ysera. That solves that problem anyway. Ysera chills and is alive regardless. Yeah. 
Yeah, people getting their heart broken is hilarious. I didn't say getting his heart broken is hilarious. I said the notion that he was trying to track down this meaningless song is hilarious. Like, clearly the song was an a, uh, excuse. That's not why anybody would leave somebody in a song. Couldn't possibly capture the... Um, couldn't possibly capture the intricacies of a relationship, right? One one song. Perhaps the emotions behind all those complexities, but um, it's just so amusing to me. Just chasing down this unobtainable answer. S summary of life, really, right? Captures it all. Now, this is a board worth dealing with. Uh, Earthquake, unfortunately, does not kill that 8-8, though. That's a little bit annoying. Oh. I guess we're gonna actually play your Murlocs again, huh? I'm a little bit worried about neutralizing the board state, to be honest. It's it's a bit problematic because there are like Savagers in his deck, so a neutral board state's not actually all that neutral to us. I mean, is there ever still an earthquake that's pretty good here, right? Like I can I can torrent here, puts this down to nine, trade. Trade for three. This lives though. Yeah, I'm actually going to get greedy here. I'm going to leave the Ysera up. On the Earthquake. It's 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 a little risky to leave up a 7 attack minion for sure. I'll, I'll admit that. But um, it's... it's You know, it's actually probably not as risky as a Plague of Murlocs on 4 minions. Because if he had just like a few 3-3s three and he rolled a War Leader and he Savage Roared me twice, I could actually just die, right? Because there's no... I'm not going to get any taunts out of it. This basically reduces the value of his wide board buffs by utilizing just by putting him on one minion specifically, which I can then hex or use another earthquake or something to clear next turn, depending on whatever the board state looks like, right? So I think this better plays around like what his deck is wanting to do. And indeed, it looks like maybe another earthquake here is going to work out for us. Some kind of scary stuff hanging out, though. Maybe this has to be a Plague of Murlocs earthquake, actually. Since he hit like pretty much all of his dragons, giving him only two remaining. Particularly if he like really commits to this board, I think we'll play against Earthquake. Oh, we don't have mana for that actually. Um, scratch that plan. <laughs> we will. We will. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we plague and chill. Maybe we. God. I really needed a hag in this game this game to be like even halfway decent to help to help me settle this stuff. I mean it's it's gotta be plagued, there's no question about that. There's just an, an insane amount of pressure on board. I can kill whatever like high value Murloc is out there. We are now um, both two years older than when I first subbed to this channel. Okay, this is honestly perfect. Hash growing old together, hash strong hairline. This is actually perfect. Really reduce the damage impact. Um Get a, get a nice minion here again with some life steal, which we're going to need some life gain, I think. Uh, we retain coin for Scrapyard Colossus, which I think is really good against Druid specifically. Now, that said, he probably still does have, like, a couple Mount Sellers and a couple Dragons off his that we have to deal with. So we're not out of the weeds yet. Still in the woods and the weeds. Uh, Star Fox, dude, two years is crazy, man. Absolutely nuts. Thank you for the uh, two years. Yeah, the hair's held up the whole time you've stopped. What do you know? Why not Fist Before Plague? Because we just get a three drop and it's like, well, is that going to be worth it, right? Um, I don't know. I, I think the future minions are worth a little more, potentially. Like, we could get a seven drop now. Seven drop, you know, and, and then a four drop, which maybe is better. Or, like, another seven drop later. I don't know that the um, the three drop now is worth it all that much. It, it could arguably be. I think it's a fair argument that you want a little extra tempo on board or something. I don't think that's a crazy suggestion. Just playing for a little more upside, I guess. Oh, Overflow. He's on Fatigue now, but he's playing for the Dragons, which makes sense. Hopefully they're small enough that... Oh my god, this guy keeps rolling crazy dragons, honestly. Uh, but I can just Hex here. Hopefully he doesn't get another big dragon. Man, that is big, but at least it's, like, not as high damage output. That's, that's something. I really wish I could Earthquake and Hex, but that's 11 mana, and I only have 9, 10 total with coin. I think this has to be Hex, then. I guess we see what minion we roll here. Maybe we, we have to be Ancestral Spirited or something. No, sadly, I think we might die here. I think there's a lot of damage in play. 
Okay, I know this looks weird to a lot of people, but I'm gonna do it. Um, I value the lack of immunity on his side of the board more than a two drop on my side of the board because of Savage Roar, right? He has Savage Roar, so that frog actually could represent up to five damage. So removing it saves me a lot of health here to help me stabilize on a future turn. Whereas a two drop is unlikely to do much of anything. Theoretically, we could have gotten, you know, um, I don't know if there's any legendary taunts at two mana, you know, we could have gotten a prime or something cool. But unlikely to get anything that actually helps me stay alive this turn, which is the most important thing to do. I think we maximized our, like, survivability here. Uh, now, I'm hoping... I, I gave this Ancestral Spirit so that maybe it could help me trade into a Twin Tyrant if he doesn't go face, like if he trades here. Um, or I, I, I think it'd be insane if he didn't go face. I feel like he's almost as lethal, probably, so I'm mostly worried about that. But anyway, like, Earthquake could help me trade. Now, if we don't die here, which it looks like we're not going to die then Walking Fountain has to be able to stabilize this, which I think, I think Walking Fountain Ancestral will help, will be enough to stabilize. It almost certainly will. It almost certainly will. He may have some glow flies, but now Haggith has helped me answer that. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty good, right? Yeah. This is amazing, actually. We fully clear here. And we heal back to 19. Yeah. By the way, the frog kill kept me alive. Just want to clarify that. He forgot to hero power, by the way. Why didn't he hero power last turn? Did he finish with three mana not hero powering? Am I crazy? I feel like that's true, but... So hopefully Earthquake trades enough here. I mean, uh, does he have a Iron Bark left? No. Fungal Fortune's gonna kill him. He's suiciding. That's an insane amount of damage. I wow. 